Hey, Mitch, guess what? What? You know how you said you don't really watch that many movies? Yeah, I've mentioned that. You know how I've mentioned that I seem to watch a lot of movies? Um, what are you go- where, where are you going with this? <laughs> where are you going with this? <laughs> Today, I've got something special for you, Mitchell. We're going to do a film quiz. In the paper. Oh, God. <laughs> are we really? <laughs> yeah. In the paper, I found another little hidden quiz. For some reason, this January 7th one has got heaps of different quizzes. This has got another one called Have You Been Paying Attention, which neither of us have, so we're not going to do that. No. So another one called Pick the Song and the Artist, and every song made in the last 20 years is garbage. But it's got a film quiz. So this one's... But thank God for dance music. This one's heavily skewed towards me, because I like movies. And, yeah, fun. So we're Great. Gonna All right. Yeah. yeah, well, that sounds lovely. Yeah, I can't wait to just yeah. get destroyed at this quiz as well. It's, we're going to evolve this. Now what I'm going to end up doing, in the future, we're going to have um, quizzes where I'm going to study all the answers and just know them, just so I can get... Just demoralize. <laughs> Maybe you can be like the, yeah. um, like the audio pre-suicide. But... <laughs> um, but before we get into that, have you been doing anything good lately? Um... Uh, wait on, what have I been doing? So, yeah, 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 so... Cool story, I realised the other day I've never baked a pie. What do you mean you've never baked a pie? What do you mean what do I mean? I've never baked like a pie. Like a meat pie, you've never put a meat pie in the oven. That's not, that's not baking, I'm talking making a pie from scratch. Oh yeah, fuck that, I've never done that either. I've never done that, but... You're not alone. The wife made homemade pies the other day and that was so good. I'll bring one over for you next time, you'll like it. Can you bring me one over that you haven't fucked? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You're a horrible Is that alright? No, horrible... like, is that cool if you just bring me on over that you haven't fucked yet? No, that's oh, not cool. I've fucked all of them. <laughs> How do you think you make pies? As I said, I've never baked a pie. I'm not really <laughs> sure what the procedure is. Um, and but... were you just standing there with Haley just going, so when do I put my dick in the pie? But when d- I was actually asking you, what did I ask you? Did I say what, you what I've been doing? To? Yeah, have you done anything good lately? Um, well. While you're telling that, I'm going to get a drink of water. No, I can't. Oh, I'm going to tell you the story. I can't tell the... Okay, yeah, you tell me. Well, do you need more no. Fat Girl Red Bull or what? Plenty of Fat Girl Red Bull. You're right. Okay, cool. So The only um, time I have Red Bull is when I come over here, because I seem to come over here really late, and it's like a 40-minute drive home. So you live really close to Fountain Gate, right? The shopping centre in Narrowarren? Pretty, pretty close, yeah. You're like right there? Yeah. Anyway, so I was... um Right there. I live at Fountain Gate Shopping Centre. So how's this? <laughs> I, broke a, I broke a pot. Like a like cooking my, pot. My girlfriend Jess, she's no, 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 like a like a va- like a outdoor pot, like to put a plant in. Oh, like a plant pl- pot, a plant yeah. pot. Yeah, and plant um, pot for Jess is really into them, and I knocked one over and broke it. Yeah, and she's got two of them, and she loves them. So I'm like, I got to get this yeah. pot, right? Yeah. So I don't uh, blame her really. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's yeah. she's got taste, and you don't. So well, that's it. Yeah, she's yeah. really into gardening and this, that, and the other. So anyway, I knocked this pot over. It's a thing. I got to go get this pot, right? So. <laughs> I go to Nary Warren um, to Fountain Gate there, the shopping centre, and I'm walking through there, and this is after after cricket training, I think, so it was late at night. It was like at maybe quarter past eight. Mm. Oh, no, eight, like 8.30. So late enough that it's like the end of the late night Thursday night shopping centre yeah. or whatever, yeah? So, um, actually, was it the pot? No. You're not no. good stories. I'm- <laughs> I'm going to stop asking you whether you've been doing things because no, you have been doing things. No, 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 no. That was a separate time. So this time, yeah. sorry, this time um, my girlfriend just bought a, um, she bought a new camera like to take photos. Yeah. Um, and she oh, so he bought, didn't buy a camera to like, to like wash dishes with or anything. She bought it to take photos. No, so once you put the detergent in, you put like the camera in and stir it around a bit <laughs> just to, you know, get the bubbles going. Yeah. Regardless, bought this thing, she needed it picked up in store, I went and got it for her because I'm Nice, look at that. Yeah. So it's a hood for the camera lens. I don't know why you need the hood. It gets a hood. Yeah. yeah, it makes it better. Anyway, so I'm walking through trying to find Ted's camera house um, through the shopping center, right? Um, and I look into the Optus store, which is a um, the Optus telephone store, like where you yeah. buy phones. Yeah. And Homeboy's got a tattoo on his wrist, like, a, like his whole wrist. Mm. And it says Carpe Diem. And he seen, works there. I've seen a lot of people with Carpe Diem tattoos. Which is seems the day, right? Yeah. And he's working at the Optus store <laughs> at 8.30 <laughs> on a Thursday night. 
Seizing the day. Sad party. Seizing the day. Seizing the day at Optus. And that's... That tattoo is still better than this podcast. Yeah. True. Um, my auntie works at Ted's Cameras. Really? Yeah. Well, thanks for the discount. I'll hook you, you up. You fucking asshole. But I never got it. <laughs> We're going to do this film quiz. Which one should we work at? No? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, when you go so into Ted's camera house yeah. in Narrowar and so, ask, ask I, for Dayo's auntie. I want to see Dayo's auntie. <laughs> now. I want yeah. to see her now. Shut up and do this quiz. She probably served me. Might have. Yeah. Film quiz. She didn't give me a discount. I don't blame her. Did she not know I know you? Oh, she's been, talk- she's been talking to you, mate, from the gym. She's going to charge you three times as much and then frame you for murder. <laughs> hey, have number, you, number have one. You, have you paid me this week, mate? <sighs> number one. What you is know the- we haven't heard from? Who? Irish Mike. No, uh, that's good. Number one, <laughs> what is the name of the nerdy high schooler who changes into this Spider-Man is... in the 2002 film Spider-Man? Peter Parker. Correct. I'm going to see how many of these I can say. Peter, like... Peter Jurassic Parker. <laughs> like Sarah Jurassic Parker yeah. <laughs> from Rex in the City. <laughs> I just picture like a T-Rex sitting there at a table with three friends with a little handbag on his stumpy little arm. I can't find any great guys. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck men are the worst. <laughs> um, Fuck those raptors are such bitches. Number two. Who directed the 2005 film The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch and the Wardrobe? Uh, is it M. Night Shyamalan? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I, don't, I don't know who it is. Andrew Adamson. Uh, don't know who that is. This, is, hey, this, po- this one here, this podcast is definitely... Screaming the answers into yeah. your phone. Oh, yeah. There'll be a lot of people who know these things and we're going to be terrible. Number three. Who wrote and sang the theme song to the 1984 film Ghostbusters? Oh, it's... It was like a famous song. Like, it was on... Yeah. The... I know the song. Do but... you know the person? Nah. Way someone, I think. When something strong... In your neighborhood. Something strange, not something strong. Yeah, no, it's strong. <laughs> it's, it's when there's something strange in your neighborhood. I don't, I don't do song lyrics. I don't get them. Uh, but I'm sure... I... Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right in the title, so yeah. Um, oh, Ray Parker Jr. I wouldn't have remembered that. Ray, f- Ray Jurassic <laughs> Parker Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. British actor Kenneth Williams was famous for his comedy roles in the majority of what titled films? Kenneth Williams. Never heard of him. I don't think I've heard of him. What titled films? Uh, was he Ernest? Like, Ernest Goes to Movies, Ernest Goes to Mars, all those sorts of things. I've never seen any of them. Oh, I know right. Bill and Ted. Before my time. Oh, the Carry On films. I don't know what that is. No, I've never seen them. Carry On, like, s- carry, like carry a bag on? Or I think carry so, on, yeah. like. I think carrying on like an idiot. Yeah, right. Carrying on like a pork chop. Like a. Chuck Rissol. Number five. Who directed the 1986 Aussie film Crocodile Dundee? Who directed it? Yeah. Paul Hogan was in it. Yeah. Why can't it be who was Paul Hogan in the thing? It's Paul Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Um, what? I, I don't know who, who was direct- Crocodile Dundee. Paul Hogan. I've answered the question. Who yeah. directed it? Who cares? I don't... Uh, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Let me have a look. Peter Feynman. Peter Feynman. He's not that Feynman. Number six. Which Australian actress stars as shopaholic Rebecca Bloomwood in the 2009 Confessions of a Shopaholic? Who stars in that movie? Yeah. Uh, Redhead Lady ING ads. Yes. (laughs) I'll give you Isla Fisher. Isla Fisher. Is that the answer? That is. I'm sure it is. I remember seeing it. Redhead Lady. Redhead Lady ING ads. I knew who you meant. Number seven, which character played by Alison Hannigan in the 1999 film American Pie? American Pie. We were talking about pies. Yeah, you were fucking them all. Uh, you're, <laughs> you're a dirty person, Mitchell. Um, regularly said this one time at band I'm camp. The, I'm the dirty person. What was her character's name? Oh, the character. You need the character's name? Yeah. About the flute? Yeah. Flute woman? Ah, oh, what was her name in that stupid movie? Um, Marcy? Molly? No. Um... Ah, oh, this is really going to annoy me because I, I want to Google it. I, 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 I want to IDMB. The answer, IDMB. 
IMDb. Internet data movie base. IDMB. <laughs> um, oh, what was her name? Um, what was her name? You're listening to the um, Daniel Rodivo Thinking Podcast, where Daniel Rodivo just sits and thinks for 10 minutes about oh, who the answer is. It's really annoying. I can't remember it. Uh, I can't remember her name. No. I know I know it, and it's really going to piss me off. It, it wasn't Glenda. Um, Michelle. I knew her name was Michelle, but I couldn't remember it, so I'm not giving myself that one. Number eight. What model car did Frank Bullitt, played by Steve McQueen, drive in the famous car chase in the 1968 film Bullet? Um, I believe it was a Thunderbird. Yeah, that... I can't remember if it was a Mustang or a Challenger, Dodge Challenger. Yeah, something in the Dodge. I think it was a Mustang. It was a Dodge with a big wing, wasn't it? No, I thought it was a Mustang. Um... I think the Bullet car was a Mustang. Wait, let me think. Again, you're listening to the. <laughs> I think it was a Shelby Mustang. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't. I don't know either. Yeah. Oh, Mustang. It is a Mustang. Cool. How do you uh, know that? Have you seen this movie? No, I remember just seeing the car. Like we do oh, yeah. a lot of stuff for Mustangs at work, and people talk about bullet Mustangs. So, number nine in the nineteen ninety four film The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. What name was given to the bus when it was christened with the breaking of a bottle of champagne over its front bumper? Priscilla? I think it was Priscilla. I think the bus was called the Priscilla. Bus is, the bus is yep. the queen of the desert. It is Priscilla. It is Priscilla? Yep. Number 10. Which US... You, um, just a quick one on movies. Yeah. Do you... I don't know why, but I get a little bit like... I get like a sense of yes. Like when I hear them say the name of the movie in the movie. I do that as well. I really yeah. like... I, like it, That's like... <laughs> do you remember the thing in Family Guy where Peter Griffin mentions about when he hears the name of um, a movie... In the movie? No. Ah, oh, it's really good. Oh, so he has a, does a bit about it. Like yeah, a bit about it. does a bit about it. So we're about 10 years behind the eight ball here. Oh, I really like it when that happens. <laughs> I do too. I, mean, yeah. I really like it when that happens. I have the same thing when I watch, when I listen to um, Tofop with Will Anderson and Charlie Clawson. I listen to that, like they'll have the title, kind of like what we do, like they'll pick something out of the podcast with the, with the title and have the name of it. And I can tell when they're working their way into, like, when into they've come bit. across that thing. It makes me laugh. I really do like yeah, it. Yeah, I, uh, I... I get a little smile. I judge movies on that. Yeah, it's good. Cool. I do judge... I like, I like to hear the name of the movie <laughs> in the movie. Exactly. And if I don't get it, I feel like a bit of disappointment. I'm like, oh, they could have... It's like the disappointment I feel every single time I do this podcast with you. Number 10. Which US entertainer <laughs> comedian does the voice of Dory in the 2003 animated film Finding Nemo? Ellen DeGeneres. Yes! We did pretty good in that one. No, we didn't. We did terrible. Don't snitch. I got... <laughs> I got five, and you got four. So we did okay. That's better. I mean, but I'm sure the listener did got 12. Yeah, we've, got 10. Yeah. Oh, there's only 10 questions. It wasn't even 12. Yeah. No true or false. It was a little short one. That was a little short one, wasn't it? You're a little short one. Actually, you're not. You're not a no. short one. I'm the short one, I guess. So that was kind of fun, but that was that was good. That was a little bit different, a film quiz. It yeah, that was, was good. actually a bit of fun. So, um, all right, well, that was our first film quiz. I like yeah. that one. Um, so actually, I've got another just a real quick story for you as well. Things that tell I was, me your story, Mitch. Tell me your story. Things that I just remembered. So, um, so this morning I woke up and I went to No Warning Motocross Track to do some motocross coaching. Yep. With a little dude, Colt. Yep. Is seven. Is he, ba- is he a baby horse? No. But he runs the number 45 on his bike, which I can get down Cold with. Colt 45. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I can That's get down with that. Good. That's pretty cool. He's that is cool. A little bit of a badass. So he's seven, right? So he's yeah. a real little dude. Like, can't even touch yeah. the ground. He's was at 85. Yeah. And I coached him last weekend, and he um he rides really good. Like, he listens really well, and he's actually like he's actually a really good kid to coach, which I enjoy, mm-hmm. so that's why I want to do it. Okay. Um, anyway, we got to the track, and... He's like all excited because so I'm going to ride. I was riding with him as well. I didn't ride last weekend. He's like, yes, Mitch can ride. It's cool. Yeah. He's all pumped. And, um, you know, I don't know if you ever do this, but do you ever have like, I used to, I used to do it a lot when I used to ride a lot. I don't get it as much anymore, but I used to always have dreams, right? Where I would be going riding and I could never ride. If that makes sense. Oh, have you ever had that? Like yeah. where you sort of have like a dream, but you're yeah. like, you can't get your gear on in time or it's getting dark and you don't, like, you can't... Yeah, I know. Actually, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
And I had like one of those moments because we both got geared up, right? And it was sort of like when I left my house, it was all sunny and everything. And I started driving and I got to the, um, to the petrol station and got fuel for my bike. And I looked up and the sky's gone gray and I'm like, oh God, it's we're in trouble there. Mm. I checked the weather and I was only wearing a singlet. I'm like, oh God, I've lucky I found a jumper in my car. I would have been yeah. screwed, right? And as soon as we got to the track geared up, I'm like, oh, it looks really good. Like, we'll be, we'll be okay. As soon as we got geared up, it just pisses down. Is right. this still a dream or a reality? No, this is real life. Oh, okay. So I'm living this shit I thought right we were now. still talking dream world. And I'm living it, right? Yeah. And I'm 29. Yeah. Like, I can deal with it, right? It's not a big deal for me. Yeah. But Cole yeah, is seven, imagine. bro. Yeah. And he's like, dude, like, what's going on? Like, it's, still, it's, riding impressive. Like, Man. it's impressive that a baby horse can ride a motorbike. Huh? Yeah. Talk about dreams. I once had a dream that I ate a five kilo marshmallow and when I woke up, my pillow was gone. That's like, I think that's a Tommy Cooper joke, isn't I it? I think it is, yeah. That's a Tommy Cooper <laughs> joke. Tommy Cooper's awesome. I love those old things. Tommy Cooper's Tom, the best, Tommy man. Cooper and Rodney Dangerfield. Have you seen the movie? The Tommy Cooper movie? No. Dude, there's a Tommy Cooper movie about his life. It is the fucking best I listened to a dollop podcast about Tommy Cooper. That was Yeah, awesome. I listened to that as well. Yeah, that was really He died good. on stage, man. It's pretty sad. Yeah. And they thought it was part of his act. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. So um, a random shit. Sad party. Dying on stage. Speaking of, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of dreams. Yep. I once had a... When I was a little kid, I used to have... Like, I used to play Mortal Kombat all the time. Oh. Yeah. I had a mo- I had Mortal Kombat dreams. Bro, I used to have dreams of running around my backyard with, you know, Goro? The dude yeah. with four arms. Yeah. I had a fucking chainsaw, bro. And he's chased me around the backyard. <laughs> been chased by fucking Goro. <laughs> <laughs> been chased by Goro in a dream? Nah. It's fucking horrifying. Uh, but I remember when I was little, like, when I'd piss my dad off. Because my dad's a monster of a dude. He's, he's like, tough as. It's only been, like... Probably in the last few years, like, you know, I said on another podcast, he's had a kidney transplant. You're, sort of you're like, you piss him off. Well, the and last, then you just hear, finish him. <laughs> pretty much in the last few years, it's probably about the only time I'd be able to beat him in an arm wrestle. He's still like tough as hell. He's just one of those, you know, you get those old tough dudes that are just tough. You go up yeah. and just like hold something hot on him and burn him. And you're just like, what are you doing, you pussy? Like, he's good <laughs> like that. Anyway. You can I just, your, your you dream just walk up to him and just hit him in the face of the chair oh, and he doesn't he's just, flinch. He's just tough. He's still tough. Like, he's... How old? Silly old prick. He's 50, uh, 64 and he's still tougher than anyone I know. It's just funny. But, yeah, yeah so the dreams about Goro chasing me around the backyard, like, if I pissed my dad off, I'd have a dream that night about that. And the old man... Never hit me or anything. Goro like, or your dad chasing me with a chainsaw? My dad. Not chasing me with a chainsaw. Horrifying. Dad was a tree lopper though, so he had a lot of chainsaws. <laughs> Maybe he's Goro, but... No, he never used a chainsaw. Remember, he just ripped him out with his hands. I remember, like, if I pissed him off, if I did something stupid, which was all the time, because I was an idiot. Still am. What and, do you um, <laughs> Exactly. But I'd have dreams. Like, he never hit me or anything like that, but... There's Maybe that's times, why you're such a fuckwit. There's times where he should have hit me. <laughs> it was just shit. But um, I'd have dreams of like the old man chasing me around to belt me and that sort of stuff. And I'd wake up freaking out. And he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so... So he does a bit of a Freddy Krueger sort of deal on you. <laughs> he does. Sad party, the Freddy Krueger podcast. <laughs> Email us. Yes. Sadpartypodcast at gmail.com. Send us your Mortal Kombat dream, dream <laughs> stories. That'd be better than Mitch's crappy dream stories. <laughs> Bye. Bye.